Hi, welcome to Rotten Rebel. I love fragrances and I would love to have you around so that I can show you some of my favorite ones. So make sure you hit that subscribe and that notification bell so that you don't miss a single one of my videos. And today, ladies and gentlemen, it's time for the one and only Parfums de Marlis Godolphin. So if you're a subscriber, you know that I'm in love with the note of leather. I don't know why, I don't know how it came to this, but leather is one of those notes that I absolutely love, which is why I'm so excited to finally bring you a review of Parfums de Marlis Godolphin, which is a leather focused fragrance. Some of the notes in Godolphin are fruity notes, thyme and saffron. There's also rose, some iris, jasmine, and that leather, of course, together with some amber and vanilla. So how does it smell? Mmm, bang! Straight from the start, you get that leather that oh so sexy and oh so fruity leather. Uh, that's pretty much what I get from the opening and uh, that fruity leather is going to stay with this uh, scent from start to finish. Godolphin is supposed to have rose and iris in it, uh, but I don't pick up any of those notes. Uh, this to me is a fairly linear scent that is dominated by that leather and those fruity notes. There's a nice saffron together with those fruity notes with a hint, just a hint of jasmine uh, together with that leather on a base of amber and vanilla. Now PDM is famous for their vanilla, uh, but to me, to my nose, uh, that vanilla is sort of a really low key in this one. Uh, it just provides some extra sweetness to that fruity blend. To me, Godolphin is a beautiful and oh so sexy uh, leather perfume with a slightly sweet and fruity side and it's just so good. If you tried the legendary Tuscan leather from Tom Ford or Rassasi's La Yukavam, then you will recognize the scent of Godolphin. But, uh, at least to my nose, Godolphin separates from that pack thanks to its slightly fruity and sweet side. And that, to me, makes it more appealing to most people. So how do I feel when I wear Godolphin? Mmm. This is such a sexy and playful leather to me. Uh, that sort of a sweet and fruity side makes it a lot more playful and a lot sexier than Tuscan leather. Godolphin amps up my mood in a sexy, playful and fun way and I absolutely love putting it on. So what about compliments and reactions from others? Uh, let's just say that this is one of my best performing leather fragrances. Uh, this one usually gets me noticed and when it does it usually lands me a compliment. Most people enjoy this on me and I feel that this is, if you love leather and if you enjoy compliments then this is pretty much the best one you can get. I feel that the performance is really good. It stays on my skin for a long long time and the sillage is really good. So if I step into a room, uh, chances are that within a few minutes most people in that room is going to pick up on uh, that beautiful fruity leather scent. So yeah, the performance, at least on my skin, is really, really good. So when should you use Godolphin? Uh, to me, this is more of a night out scent, uh, simply because of that sort of a sexy and playful uh, vibe. Uh, I use it mostly when I go on dates. Uh, I love using it if I'm going out clubbing or if I'm going out dining with friends 
or if I'm going out for a drink. When that sexy scent trail of that fruity leather uh, starts following you around, uh, people usually pick up on it and when they do, uh, if they find you interesting, uh, chances are that they are going to approach you or tell you that yeah, you, you smell fantastic. Uh, I love this uh, when I'm going out, but with that said, I feel that you can use this pretty much any time you want. Uh, I mean, I've used it in uh, formal settings, uh, when I've been to offices, uh, business meetings, I even put it on after the gym, uh, and I feel that even though it's perfect for when it's a bit more chilly, so let's say um, early spring, fall or winter, um, due to that sort of a fruity side, you can pull it off summertime as well and maybe just mind your sprays a bit because it is kind of beast mode. Uh, but yeah, that's my take on when you should use uh, Godolphin. So who's this perfume for? Uh, I actually smell this on a woman and I found it to be sexy as hell. Uh, and I had a ton of women tell me that they think that uh, the scent of leather, this scent of leather on me is really sexy and really nice. Uh, so yeah, I do feel that it is unisex, even though to my nose it might actually lean just slightly, a little bit uh, toward the male side. But yeah, I think you can rock this one regardless if you are a woman or a man. So who should buy Godolphin? If you want a sexy and playful leather uh, that is sort of a focusing on the note of leather together with a fruity note, so you have that leather mixed with a sweet side, uh, then this is something for you. Uh, I mean, if you love leather perfumes, then you really owe it to yourself to check out uh, Godolphin. Now, if you don't enjoy the scent of leather, then this is not for you. So how am I going to rate Godolphin from Parfums de Marley? To me, it's sexy, it's fun, it's playful, uh, it pulls people in, it creates reactions, and I love that. Uh, but more importantly, it makes me feel good, it brings me a sexy, fun, and playful vibe. Uh, so I am going to give it a strong 9. It's nearly a perfect rebel, it's one of my favorite leather fragrances, and if you are curious about leather fragrances, or if you love the scent of leather, uh, then I can highly recommend Godolphin. So I'm curious on how you feel about Godolphin. Do you love it? Do you hate it? Uh, do you prefer it over Tuscan leather? Do you prefer it over uh, La Yucavan from Brasasi? Uh, please do comment and let me know. I hope you enjoyed this review of Godolphin. If you did, then I would highly appreciate if you would smash that like. And don't forget to hit that notification bell so that you don't miss any of my upcoming videos. And I'll see you the next time. Bye.